What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Well, I wanted to tell you about this because it's, I don't know, it kind of troubled me and I thought, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll get some feedback and, and maybe I'm overreacting a bit, but um, I don't think so. I, I'm just, I was a little upset because, well, I may have lost my forklift license and I kind of rely on that for my job. And I don't think, it was kind of my fault, but in a way it wasn't. Uh, well, one, I, I blame having unreliable people that I work with and calling out. So I'm busy doing my lumber orders yesterday because I, so I'm always in lumber. I, you know, I got my, you know, I do it with the flatbed. So I'm doing, I, I got these huge lumber orders. I'm talking about, I'm lifting 12 by 12, uh, two by 12, 12 by 12, two by 12 by 16s. Uh, you know, I got, you know, so many of those, some, uh, uh, two by 10 by 16s, you know, it's, that's heavy wood when you're picking up by yourself, some four by fours, whatnot. So I got, you know, just, uh, you know, through three big bells of lumber that I'm, uh, uh, that, you know, that, that I have to gather. And then, and then, but, but everybody called, everybody called out. Some guy comes out, is coming up to me. Like, <laughs> I just waved him off, you know, um, some okay, so everybody called out in lumber that actually works in lumber that deals with you know uh, stock in the lumber. So not only so I'm having to stop and get on the forklift and uh, which was no big deal. And I uh, I was stocking lumber, you know, taking bunks of lumber down and putting it in its right place. So I'm doing lumber's job. So it's kind of weird. It's like I work in lumber, but I don't because I'm I, I'm flatbed. I, I'm in delivery, but yet I, I deal I deal with lumber because I'm in lumber because I'm dealing with flatbed, and so usually I'm dealing with lumber and roofing and cement. Mostly, I, there's a, a, sometimes it could be anything, you know. Sometimes I could go get a washing machine if they need, you know. Um, but so I'm having to do this. Customers are needing things. There's no everybody called out in lumber. Anyway, I had to somebody. A guy came and wanted a pallet of cement, uh, 80 pound cement. So that's 42 bags of cement. And I loaded, uh, you know, on the forklift. You know, we load it, then you pick it up and you slide it into the truck. That was no big deal. He come back for another one. And the guy, and, and there's a, a new guy that uh, he can lead me with the flags, you know, in front. Uh, um, um, as a lookout, as a guide or whatever that you call it. I, I'm forgetting right now, but, uh, you know, when you're upset, you can't think too good. But anyway, he, uh, came to me because he can't drive a forklift yet. Um, uh, he's a part-time worker. He only works on the weekends. He's a truck driver during the way during the week. But so he's like, Hey man, the guy come back and he needs another. So I'm like, reluctantly, I, I agreed. I said, okay, so I, I didn't, I, you know, I had my own job to do. So we, so, so I'm like, okay, let's just get the concrete. We went out, I got the car, you know, con so I'm loading it on. And I guess, I don't know, there was some stuff in the bed of his truck and I was having a hard time pushing it. And I guess the momentum of the forklift and, and I, I finally got going and, uh, you know, the tailgate's down. So I guess the momentum I slapped, you know, I kind of slammed the bottom. I thought there were some guards that like, you know, soft guards that, or there should be if there isn't that, that help in a situation like this. But I guess the, there's a plastic on the end. And I, I, I guess I, he complained that I dented it in. It was, I, I'm thinking it was like a work, you know, it's kind of an old work truck, but I mean, I, I get it. It's his truck. It's his prerogative. You know, he, he has the right if I, you know, um, so I guess the guy who I helped, you know, that, that wanted me to get in the first place, you know, said, Hey man, yeah, you might want to park it. We need to get a manager. He's saying, you know, you, you, you know, dinged it. Um, and I'm and I went, and I apologize. I'm like, I'm sorry, man. You know? And, and, uh, I was just, I just hate it. Cause it's been like, you know, like last November, so I've had a one other forklift incident. It was like, a. uh, you know, like last November, I, I had one while I was just kind of learning. So I was doing well and everything. I was kind of forklift accident free. And then, I, uh, but anyway, this just ruined my day. And I, and all, and I'm thinking, I didn't even want, I should have been having to do this in the first place. You know, if people didn't call out, I'm having to do other people's job. And, you know, it just, it just upset me that I shouldn't have been put in that predicament. I just, um, even though it, it's so, it's kind of like, and now we're one of the managers, well, the, uh, 
the delivery coordinator come up to me at the end, towards the end of the day and and uh or kind of ticked me up kind of robbed it and like i'm sure you feel bad terrible like i was already upset but uh, but he said well he said you can help me in in on the with the box truck until you get your license back and i'm like and i started thinking well, what are you talking about and he said well yeah he said you had an accident, uh, you know, you, uh, because with a vehicle. Uh, and uh, he said, you're going to have to t retake your forklift training and, and, uh, and, and you know, recertify. I, I, I didn't know. Well, I mean, I didn't have to do this, on my, you know, when this happened to me in November. But anyway, I had to take a drug test, all this. And uh, I mean, that'd be fine. But I just, I don't know. until I, I guess I need to talk to a manager because I really want to, argue this point because i mean granted i didn't mess up but you know here i am having to do all this stuff you know i drive a forklift all day you know when you drive enough little things are going to happen and i've had many people have told me i've had a lot of forklift drivers at lowe's have had bad accidents and they've hit i've even heard somebody's hit car i've heard somebody drove through glass so uh, even one, one of my partners that I work with in Lumber, he said, man, he said, if every, if they fired or got rid or there'd be no forklift drivers if they did that to everybody, uh, that, that has a forklift accident, you know, because obviously there's, there's uh you know, it's, it's just happens, but it just sucks. It sucks. It had to happen. It sucks. I was even put in that position and you know, I don't know what to say. Um, I did apply for another job, however. I applied for a job at Amazon. All right, second shift, part-time. So, you know, a few hours in the evening, and maybe that'll lead to something. Uh, the money's a bit better uh, per hour, so that's cool. I mean, I love I love Lowe's. I, I'm very grateful that Lowe's gave me a job. It's been great. I, I love it. I get to work outside. I just, I that's what I hate. If I got to work box truck, I'll be inside. I'll be in, like, the warehouse or in receiving and and, um, I, I enjoy being outside and working in lumber. I just do, um, and driving forklifts as well. So, but it is what it is. Things do happen. There are setbacks in life. I get it. But, um, just wanted to share that. Uh, and, uh, I will talk to you next time.